In this series of videos, we're going to draw this fish in Illustrator. And you can take a look at it there. That's what we're going to draw or something similar to it. And the purpose of this exercise, um, it's geared towards uh, beginners or people that have just have an introduction to Adobe Illustrator. So I'll go over everything step by step. So I'm calling this the fish one exercise in case you ever draw another fish. Um, so what you're going to learn is how to draw the basic shapes how to use the pen tool and especially the uh, anchor point tool. We're going to use the Pathfinder tool to unite shapes. Uh, we use the brushes library and I'll show you how to use the blend tool to add some details to the fish. And finally we'll use the swatches library to add color. So there's lots of stuff that you're going to learn with this exercise. And you don't have to be an expert uh, illustrator to jump right in because I'm going to go over every, everything here. First thing you want to do is uh, make a uh, folder, and I called mine Fish One. And I think it's best practices for anything that you work on. Keep it in a folder. Don't keep it like in a, just a floating file somewhere. So have everything organized in folders. Within the folder, I think it's good practice to have a resources folder, and you, all the stuff that you're going to use for your drawing will be in there. In this case, um, the reference photo that I'll be using is in the resources folder. And um, if you're one of my students, I will give you this reference photo. If you're just visiting me on YouTube, you'll have to find a reference photo. You could just Google tiger barb if you wanted to. It's a tropical fish. Um, I want you guys to know that before I embarked on drawing this thing, the first thing I did was I looked at a whole bunch of fish. And um, the reason I did that was because I wanted to, you know, get an idea of what's out there. I knew I just wanted to do a tropical fish because they're, you know, very geometric in shape and interesting shapes. And I had a lot to choose from, and I eventually. Uh, landed on this little guy here that's who I decided I was going to draw and after I picked um, what fish I was going to go for I took the time to um, do some sketches too okay so um, if you draw the subject you're gonna like notice a lot of stuff so like I, I drew it like fairly I wouldn't call this a realistic sketch, but I mean, I, I was like mimicking the reference photo. And then I got more and more geometric as I went down, and I kind of settled on this guy. He was somewhere between the severe geometry and and naturalism. I didn't want to make a naturalist. Uh, I didn't want to make just a full-on representation of the fish. I wanted some geometric interpretation. Okay, so enough talking. Um, for this first intro video, we'll uh, just set up our file, our workspace, and uh, in the next video, we'll get started on drawing. So go to Adobe Illustrator. Just so we're on the same page, click on Window, Workspace. You should be in Essentials. Depending on what version of Adobe Illustrator you have, it, this might say Essentials Classic. In any case, what you want to do is make sure that you can see the little layers palette on the right side. And your um, toolbar should look similar to mine on the left here. Click File, New. We're going to do a 2000 by 2000 pixel image. Uh, you can choose web if you want to. Yeah, in fact, let's do that. Click web input 2000 here for width 2000 for the height make sure this says pixels a lot of beginners will um, choose points or uh, or um, inches and it, it, that's you're, you're gonna get a really really weird file so make sure this says pixels 2000 2000 click create we never work on an untitled document, so click File, Save As, 
navigate to the the fish folder that you made and your AI file will reside in here next to resources. So if you're my student, call this fish1 and type in your name. First name is fine. So fish1, I'm, I'm sure that I'm in the correct folder. I'm going to click save. Accept these options. OK. Eventually there it goes. And we're good to go. And in the next video, we'll start drawing. So I'll see you there.